Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can run mediation analysis using JASP, which is an open and free software. So we have this model here, we have IV, mediator, DV, so our predictor variable, uh, outcome variable, and the mediator variable. We also call them predictors, so or latent variables, these are latent variables, or exogenous, endogenous variables. So these are all different names that can be used when we are talking about structure equation modeling and mediation analysis. So we go to JASP software, and here we go to uh, just the data to see what we have here. So we have already some composite scores, and we want to run a mediation analysis uh, model. I have two options on JASP. One is simple, the other one is complex. So the simple one is simply you go to SEM model. If you don't have this one, you can just click here, the plus icon, and you tick it here and it will show here so when you go to the once you go to the same you go simply to the mediation analysis and here we will just be putting the variables so let me just go back to the actual model that i have here in this study so i will just go to the conceptual framework and i will do like it so we have pe affecting intention with the mediation effect of two variables ai literacy and ai accessibility so that's what i will be doing so simply I would go back to JASP and I will simply I would go back to JASP and I would input the model. So we have PE as the a predictor and intention is the outcome variable and the mediators are these two variables which are EL and EI. So this one and this one. So this is the model in brief. So this is how we can run the uh, mediation analysis. And then in the options, I could add some uh, functions. Like if I want here the standardized estimates, I will just check the standardized estimates here so that I can interpret the results. So you could see the P and intention path has an estimate of 24% positive influence and it is statistically significant as the p-value is below 0.001. The same for the, this is for the direct effects. For the indirect effects, we have PE on AL uh, or intention for the mediation is 19%. And it is statistically significant. The other one is 0.08 or 8%, which is also statistically significant. PA on the other one, on the intention and delta method with uh, maximum likelihood estimator is used. For the total effect, you could see the PA on the intention has an estimate of 51% and it is statistically significant. You can see here the mediation is statistically significant and the uh, the total effect is statistically significant. So here we have what we call uh, partial uh, mediation. And then we have the total indirect effects is also statistically significant, as you can see. So that's what we call partial correlation. Let me just theoretically explain these concepts um, when it comes to mediation. So we have this table. So the direct effect simply measures the effects of the independent variable on the dependent variable not mediated by the mediator. So it's called C path coefficient from X to Y excluding M, which is the mediator. The indirect effect is the effect of the independent variable X on the dependent variable through the mediator M. This is the product of the path X, M, M, Y. So this is AB where the effects of X and on M and B is the effect of M on Y. So the, and then we have the total effect is the overall effect of the independent variable on the dependent variable combining both direct and indirect effects. So to see the mediation, so here partial mediation means that the direct effect is statistically significant and the indirect effect is also statistically significant. And also the total effect combination of both effects. The full mediation means that the direct effect is not statistically significant, whereas the indirect effect is statistically significant, so entirely through the mediator. So this is what we mean by full mediation. So here is an explanation of this. And the A path, B path, C and C prime paths, these are the ones here in this model just to explain. So this is in brief how we can run mediation analysis and interpret the results on JASP, which is free and open source uh, program very fast. If you have, as I said, uh, complex models like multiple mediators in some chains, you could download what we call module, classical module and you can start running the analysis you see here it's called process beta so once you add this it will show up here and you start adding the uh, conditional more conditional analysis when it comes to structural equation modeling you can see for the classical process model we have process macro by haze as you can see and here we put the haze process number 
uh, and then we can just specify it from here like model number and you put the number so how are you going to know which model you have you you need to have the uh, model numbers like these ones and see the conceptual framework that you have whether it matches one of them so usually we have these are all the uh, model numbers that we have for mediation and also moderation mediated moderation moderated mediation and all of those complexities till we have model so it is 92 so these are all the numbers of models that are there so you could just specify the number of models that you have and then you can start running the analysis on um, using mediator moderators etc and put in the results here or the uh, variables here and then you would have the output simply here so you see you can customize it the way you want you have intercepts local tests for the options you have the paths also for the other one we could have the paths as well the plots we could have plots we have advanced so residual variance parameter estimate etc so if we go back also to the mediation analysis i can also add plots here so model plots parameter estimates you can add legends so here it is you see the same model that i have on my data my paper i can just have it there so let's just go back to the conceptual framework so this one here it's just empirically verified here and you can see the legends you don't need them just have the model and you have the path coefficients here you can see all of them and then if you want to go for advanced you could see the estimator it is chosen by default exclude cases list wise but the most important one is full information maximum likelihood you don't need to worry about missing values etc uh, in here you could also add the levan syntax in case you want to use structure equation modeling and, and modify this syntax you can also do bootstrapping at uh, 1000 or 5000 or 10000 but this may take some time to do the confidence interval set at 95 percent and then I could also compute the R squared or the uh, variance in the dependent variables explained by the predictor variables as well. So this is the uh, the R squared. You could see here all the dependent variables. Sometimes one variable can play two roles, independent and dependent variables, depending on the arrow's direction, as you can see. So simply I can just copy this graph and put it and that's it and this is how we just run mediation analysis using JASP and also how we can run other types of mediation and moderation as well using a process uh, macro by Hayes and if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below see you soon and bye for now